Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Rakuen. In the last episode, we gave back Sue her marble and explored the cafeteria and even met some new friends along the way. We also got into the 5C storage closet and saw this old man named Uma, as well as solved a couple puzzles. In this episode, well, we're just going to continue right where we left off and uh, see what the doctor has to say. I... Um, well, I don't know how you got in here, but this area is off limits. Anyways, come with me. Your mom is here. Alright. Let's see what mother has to say to us. Oh, oh. That's no ordinary door. Mom! After you worked so hard to get her book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Will you read Rakuen to me, Mom? Of course I will. We can finally read the book. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisota's Forest. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakuen. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora. For it has been said that Morizoto would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizoto granted the boy his wish, a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world of Rockwood. Good night. Someone's walking around again. Mom, is that you? Oh, hey, it's Yummy. Yummy, you came back. I told you I would. So, the doctor told me you were wandering around the backspace. Oh, that was the backspace. That place is like a construction zone right now, man. Seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. It's not just a book. It's been in our family for generations. Yeah, I didn't actually know that Rakuen was like an island. That story was a little bit different than I had in intended. But it was still cool nonetheless. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Ah, so you got it back for your, for your mom. Yeah, and me too. It's special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy, too. The silver on the side probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. He was probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. He should have felt sorry for you. You're the one that's stuck in the hospital. He could leave any time, but you... You might never get to leave. What does that mean? Oh, hey man, I'm sorry for saying that. It's okay. It's true. If it makes you feel better, I'm stuck here too. We can be stuck here to stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. I think that's the night shift nurse. Sorry man, I should go. Yami? Yeah? I hope you get better. Day 
deja vu much? Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? Oh, what's the matter? I wish I could go back to Morizora and ask him to go to Morizora and ask him to get me a wish, but I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? Now, I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older, but... But I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. The truth? Do you know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there's silver on it and people can sell silver for money? No, no. That's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. It's a map to Morizora's forest. A blueprint for what we need to do to meet Morizora himself. But, when the thief took our book, he obviously didn't realize that you need something else in order to get there. This is the Rakuen key. You need to open the book as well as the doors. The doors? My grandmother told me that when you have both the book and the key, secret doors will start appearing around you. Doors that lead from this world to Morizora's forest. There could be doors in this hospital? I don't know. And we may never know unless we look ourselves. I want you to have this key. It's very special, and now it belongs to you. You received the Silver Rakuen Book Key. Thank you, Mom! But you must promise me that you'll take good care of it. Oh, I promise! I'll, t I'll take such good care of it! Okay then, there's only one thing left to do. Let's go find a door to Morizora's forest! If you want to talk with Mom anytime, press Q. It looks like someone left you a note. Read it? Sure. Break me and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as attack. But if all you do is smile back at me, I'll always smile back. I figured you might need this in writing. There's something crazy where I live. I hate something to help you get there. Reflect on it for a while. Maybe you can find it. Uma. Alright. Hello, dear. How are you? When I was a little girl, I used to dream about finding a special door to Morizora's forest. Well, I don't need a hint. Hmm. It's pretty cool that Mother is our uh, is a party member for us. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Those have something is hidden behind the mirror. Look at what it is. You found Uma's key. Huh. Where would we even begin to find a place? Is it too much to ask to get a cup of coffee around here? I'm gonna give him a different voice. A bit more old, like, to say the least. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Should I look elsewhere first? No, is this place locked up? Oyster. Well, I I would assume it would imply that we need to go back to Uma's room. How's it going, Jackie? Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? What can I help you with? Sometimes I have to contemplate things like, oh, same thing. Uh, I gotta go. Unless I had a Sue, too. Sue's great. Could there be a portal here, too? Hello. Have you been up on the roof before? There are plants growing up there. I miss my friend so much. If she was here, we'd go up there together. I'll still look for your marbles, Sue. It's probably not in the bathroom. 
and it's probably not in this room either. And then this place is locked. Still no coffee. I doubt there's anything in here either. So, and because remember last time Uma's room had that glowing door when he left. So all we gotta do, oh god, could they do a little with less creepy music? Yes, the doors are open this time. We could do no puzzles or anything. Hi, Mom. Yes, I was here last time. This is what I was doing, you know, puzzles and whatnot. This is liquor. Various bottle drinks. Fighting fish. The box filled bento lunches, and that's the door. Hang on, you have something on your door. Attention, all this hospital staff urgent. Please begin transfer to second storage wing immediately. Where are we? I'm not sure. This is so strange. Mom, the Rockwing key! the key. You can go anywhere. Even to Morizora? To ask him for a wish? If that's where he wants to go. Can we go together? Of course. Well, shall we? Okay! Getting here. We just came through the door behind us. There's no door behind you. Yes, there is. I think the tall creatures must have hit their heads in the storm. They're talking crazy. I don't know how they got here. Maybe we should help them. I see you must be lost. I've never seen you around Mori Zora's forest before. Yes, this is our first time here. Oh, so you're a tourist then. I guess you could call us that. But we know all about this place. We read about it in our book. A book about us? Yeah, I learned about the forest and the paradise world across the sea. You mean Rakuen? Yeah! That's wonderful. Is there anything you'd like to do while you're here? Well... I've always wanted to meet the Great Forest Guardian, Morizora. Ah, Morizora. He lives in a cave just northwest of this village. But I hear he's been sleeping for a long time, and it's not easy to wake him up. Anyways, this is the Liebel Village Inn. Feel free to make yourselves at home. And let us know if you need anything. Anything. What interesting looking creatures. Did you notice when they turned around? They didn't have tails! <laughs> Hush! It's not nice to talk about others behind their backs. Or 
were about their backs. <laughs> hey! Sorry. I meant no harm. Just never seen anything like that is all. Well, the face of the flowers. Um, well, we're here. These labels have a lovely village. I never thought I'd see the day I'd be standing here amongst them. I highly doubt I'll be able to do voices a small freaking flower for each and every individual label. So, um, they'll have a generic voice. So, um, what's it like not having a tail? Do you fall over a lot? Hey! Oops, sorry. I mean, how are you? I mean, I don't know, humans are pretty cool. We figured out how to use feet and non-tails to walk around. If you're looking for Morizara, he lives in a big cave northwest of the village. Welcome to the Lebel Inn. Would you like to sleep here? Sure. Oh my god, that's a wonderful inn theme. You awake, fully rested. Save your game? Sure. Well, I know this episode was quite short, but I think this is a pretty good place to stop. So, next time in Harakuen, we'll explore the village of Libel and maybe make our way over to the cave where Morizora sleeps. Will we find out exactly what it is this place is all about? Will we actually find a hint on getting to Rakuen? Will Morizora be awake when we get there? See you guys next time!